What's up everybody? So in this video I want to take a look at Nova Launcher on the LG G6. Nova Launcher is an alternative home screen that gives you tons of options, not only just in customizing how your phone looks, but also in how it operates. So I'm going to go ahead and download that from the Play Store real quick. Just search Nova Launcher and then hit install. So once it's installed, if you hit your home button, you're going to be asked, what do you want to use? Do you want to use regular home, you know, or Nova Launcher. So I'm going to select Nova Launcher and use as default and then hit OK. And so here you can choose to back up from another phone that you've been using Nova on already. Moving forward, if this is your first time with Nova, you can make backups of your home screen layouts and then as you get other phones or new phones or if you have to replace this phone, you can retrieve those backups and get everything back to the way it was. So I'm going to start from scratch for this. So I'll go ahead and hit skip. I do use Nova on most of my phones that I use and I just like the functionality that it gives and the customization options. So here we have our home screen. By default we're given three screens. If I long press I can add more screens and then I can set different screens as the default by hitting this little home up here. And that's the one that it'll take me to whenever I hit the home button. I've actually gone ahead and installed the paid version. There are some additional features that I like to do with Prime. So for example, I'm going to long press on this folder here. I go to edit. So in the free version, you can change the icon of the folder, which currently it's a group of, of the apps that are inside. Or you can do some built-in app icons and then just pick one icon for that. But if you see here, the swipe action, you can actually set folders to do secondary things when you swipe on them. So on this one, I'm going to say when I swipe on it, I want to open an app and I want to open the Google app. So if I tap it, it just opens that. But if I swipe it, it opens Google. And again, that is a paid feature. But even if you don't want to pay, you just want to change the look and feel of your phone. You can do that with the free version. And for example, if we want to just change how the phone icon looks, go ahead and hit edit. Tap here, built in. And then tap on that. And now our phone icon is different. So that'll let you give your phone a more stock look if you want to change some icons around. You can also download additional icon packs and themes from the Play Store. And there's tons of them out there. Just search Nova theme or Nova icons. And then you can really start customizing the look of your phone. Another thing I like to do is I like to add home screen gestures. So I'm going to settings and we're taking it to Nova settings. So gestures and inputs. Again with the free one, you can just change these two up here. But with the paid one that unlocks all these down here. So for example, Swipe down from the home screen will bring your notification tray down. Swipe up, you can set to do something else. So I'm actually going to make mine toggle the notification bar. So to show that, go ahead and hit home. If I swipe up, you see that gets rid of our notification bar. That's pretty cool for making some really clean screenshots of your home screen. Or if you just want a really clean home screen and you don't want to see all the clutter of your notification bar. The swipe down makes one-handed use a lot easier if I just swipe down here. It brings it down, and then you can swipe again to bring it further down. One of the other things you can change is the home screen transitions. You see right there, it's just sliding from one screen to the next. Go back into settings, desktop, scroll effect. Simple is the default. You can select cube. There's plenty of options here. So for the sake of the video, I'm going to select that one. Go ahead and hit done, hit home. And you see the transitions are different now. There's tons of options in here. I'm not going to go through all of them in this video because then it'd be a really long video. So I, I encourage you download the free version, mess around with it. If you don't like it, you can simply uninstall it again. To uninstall it, you just go into your app drawer and then find Nova Launcher and then uninstall. Hit OK. So once you uninstall both Nova Launcher and the settings for Nova Launcher, you see it takes us back to our stock LG home screen. So it doesn't hurt anything on your phone, it doesn't change anything of the underlying functionality, but it does let you add a functionality as well as give you a ton of customization options. So I highly encourage you download the free version, start playing around with it. I personally bought the full version because I liked the added features that it gave me, and I would strongly recommend getting the full version if you want to add some serious functionality to your phone. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for me, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and Instagram. Until next time, keep it here for more LG G6 videos and more tech videos in general. Take care.